do you have what it takes to buddy fight? Choose your favorite world and use special cards to summon its powerful monsters into reality. Challenge other fighters and buddy call your toughest ally to fight by your side. Get ready to raise the flag! Counter final! I cast! Let the world distort! Turn back the sands of time and erase all sadness from the past! Sword of nothingness! Distortion! Punisher! coverage of the Gone Cup has resumed, sir. Put it on the main screen. You must believe how shocked I am to discover his true identity. We couldn't have known that the Purgatory Knight was Tsuku Ryuenji. Yes, yes, of course. We would never have hidden the truth. I can only speculate why he wished to hide his identity from all of us. Perhaps for some reason <gasps> he wanted to compete in my tournament as an unknown. But did you see it? That counterfinal card he used? It's a perfect example of the new cards that will soon be available as the world's most incredible game continues to improve and evolve. Wolf versus Fox, a battle of instinct. I was afraid that this might happen. Still, it's hard to believe he'd take such drastic measures. It seems Team Purgatory is actually Team Disaster, meaning that Tasuku Has become a member of Disaster? You really think so? It is possible. Well, well, what do we have here? Looks like you're wasting valuable work time gossiping. No, Commander, we were just... <laughs> Back to work, you two. <laughs> we were discussing Tasuku Ryuenji. I see. Who'd have guessed he'd enter the Gaon Cup under an assumed name? The Scandal. This means he has no intention of returning to us. I guess it's probably for the best. I'm glad we cut him loose when we did. <laughs> <sighs> there can be no doubt. Kyoya Gaon is the one behind Nobari and his cronies. We now know the face of our enemy. I agree. Time for phase two. Wait, you're really gonna talk to Tasuku? I have got to get to the bottom of this. I gotta know what he's thinking. Welcome back to the Gaian Cup semi-final between Team Destiny and Team Purgatory. And if you haven't heard, we had a surprise appearance by Tasuku Ryuenji. Even with this frosty cool new look, he's still super dreamy. Now get ready, cause the second fight of the match
match will feature Team Purgatory's Ryuga Origami and his buddy Cerberus Ace. Opposing him from Team Destiny is Jin Magatsu and his buddy Evil and Heart Yummy Kitsune. It's a rare canine monster showdown! It's true, they're both canines, but a little fox is no match for a ferocious wolf. You're all talk. My fox here will have you running in circles. <laughs> I've wanted to fight you, Magatsu, since I was at Ibo. I just hope that your nickname, the Uncrowned King, doesn't prove a disappointment to me. I guess I should be flattered, but guys like you are why I avoided events like this in the first place. By agreeing to have buddy fights with show-offs, I risk damaging my reputation. What do you mean? I mean, if I was foolish enough to beat you, I'd lose my title. Are you suggesting that you could beat me if you wanted to? What if I am? There's only one way to find out, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, 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 what's going on? Did I just hear those two laughing together? Are they forming some sort of bond no one will understand? Kind of like my bond with Tasuku. The power of the Ace will destroy you! Dark Luminize! Ace defeat! A terrifying spectacle's about to begin. Luminize! Crazy Phantom! Carnival! Buddy! Time to raise the flag! I'm with Danger World! I fight for Katana World! Tsuku, open up! What can I do for you? You are aware this is not your team's waiting room. Ah, drop the act, Ice Queen. We have business with Tsuku. Gleipnir. <laughs> Stop it! Let me... Disaster Force has the ability to make the power of the cards into reality. You're tempted by it, aren't you? You won't brainwash me like you did all the others! Oh, really? Like you did with Kirian Shosetsu! And then you used your power to manipulate Tasuko when he was feeling low! For some reason, everyone loses it when they get that Dark Core deck case in their hands. You disaster guys keep saying that you're trying to save the world. But how do you think hurting people is gonna do that, huh? You're a joke! Sophia, please free Drum from those chains. You are here. <laughs> that hurt. Let's go. You can't stay here with these guys. Actually, Gal, you're the one who should leave. Huh? Understand I'm not being manipulated by anyone here. I chose disaster. I joined of my own free will. Uh, that's not true! It is true. I lost a buddy fight to Kyoya, and it opened my eyes. You wouldn't get it. Tsuku! Ruga has the first move. Charge and draw. Vanquish all with everlasting strength. I equip. Explosive Axe Rikdo Demon Slay! I caught your fight against Shosetsu. I know the restrictions tied to equipping that item. You can't call a monster to your center position. Gotta say, it takes guts to leave yourself open. I'd never do that. So you're not a big risk taker, huh? Well, I'll show you what it really means to live on the edge. I cast Set Spell, Final Battle Skill, Maji Demon Slay. He just blocked your center area. This'll be fun. That wiped the smile off your face. As long as this set spell's engaged, we will not be able to call size two monsters or smaller to the center. Brace yourself! Here he comes! End of move. That's a new one! This set spell forces both players to leave their center wide open! I guess now Jin has no choice but to match Rouga's no-nonsense fighting style. Poor Jin. His Skull Warrior deck is just not built for that. It was crafted to slowly cause damage to his opponent with monsters that can return after being destroyed. Show's over, yo! Sounds like Jin Boy's on the express train out of here. What do you think there, Zanya? And draw. Charge and draw! You think you've got me at a disadvantage. I know something you don't. Now sit back and watch. I call Tempest Garoro to the right position. And to the left, Treachery Jockey Karasu. 
I activate Garo's ability. By paying one gauge, his power increases by 3,000. <laughs> he also gets the ability to do a double attack. No pun intended, but I'm more than equipped to punish you with some frontal attacks. Now, Garo, go say hello to the fighter. One more time! Feel the burn! Treachery Jockey Karasu, why not play him your favorite too? White noise! End of move. How is Roga still standing after that triple attack? Oh. Look at that smile! He actually seems to be enjoying this! As Garoho can only stay on the field for one turn, he's now eliminated. Oh, well, what can you do? Your move. Hmm. I thought you'd at least have the courage to equip an item and attack me directly. And put all my cards on the table. Your wit will be your downfall. I buddy call Armor Knight Cerberus Ace to the right. Ruga gains one life point with a buddy gift. Sick of Mace. <laughs> Demonic Equip Combination! Cerberus Ace has entered the soul of Explosive Axe Rikdo Demon Slay! Ugh, he put Ace into the card's soul and increased the item's critical by two. I call Armor Knight Minotaur to the right and Armor Knight Ogre to the left. Ruga shows he means business setting up his triple threat fighting formation. Copycat, it's just like the Gal formation. So then, Minotaur has a critical of three. And Ogres is two. Explosive Axe Rikdo Demon Slay normally has a critical of three. But in this case, with Ace in its soul, it gets increased to five. That's a total critical of ten in one attack. <laughs> it's just like Roga to set up such an awesome move. He can't lose this now. Say your goodbyes, your majesty. No one can defend against ten critical. Hold on just a minute. Even if I can't call a monster to the center, I can still move Jockey Karasu over to protect me instead. Don't waste my time. Ogre, clear that pretender out of the center. Oh! That was easy. Now I cast Demon Way Kepa Kugiri. He did it. When an opponent defeats one of your monsters, the effect of that counterspell takes out one of theirs at the same time. Way to go. I always say they aren't destroyed for nothing. Looks like you're wide open. There's nothing standing between us to protect you now. Freak out, Demon Slay! I cast! Huh? Art of Body Replacement. No matter how powerful your attack is, it's useless if it doesn't hit your opponent. I don't believe what I'm seeing! Jin's Art of Body Replacement completely nullifies his opponent's attack! Who would have guessed that he could survive an attack of 10 damage without even a single scratch? <laughs> Not bad, kid. Good to see you're finally giving everything you've got to win a fight. But why now? What made you decide to start taking it seriously? I realized I was wrong. To be honest, you could even say that I finally saw the light. What are you talking about? Like you, I fell into a world of darkness. For the longest time, I didn't think I could trust people. Sadly, the only thing I found I could believe in was money. For you, that thing has always been power. You crave it. So much, in fact, that you've descended into darkness for it. You don't know me. I know you're like anyone else living in darkness. You longed to see the sun again, like I did. That's what inspired me to try harder. That sun is Mikado? Don't make me say it. It's embarrassing. But you're right. He's the one who helped me rise out of the darkness. You're saying that for you, the sun is your friend? Then it'll be the same for me. Huh? In honor of my friend, I, Ruga Aragami, promise you this. I will not lose this battle. I told you about the day that I decided to protect people when I thought it was the duty bestowed upon me. And then the future force awakened within me. But it... I didn't know that it would never be enough. Game over. Winner, kill ya Gaia. I just lost. I can't believe Kyoya defeated me. You say that the Disaster Force and the Future Force are the same thing, but I just won. 
So tell me, can you tell the difference between them? Uh. You're in a rush to grow up because you want to protect people. Take it from me, you're way off base. You're chasing after an illusion. What do you mean? A lot of adults these days only think about themselves. You know it as well as I do. Just look at the criminal fighters who use their buddies' powers to commit crimes. Or the high-ranking members of the buddy police who swore to maintain law and protect us, but have now become corrupted. Do you really think that you can achieve any sense of justice by joining forces with them? In the end, you're not being protected. All they're doing is using you. Uh, are you saying that I've been nothing but a pawn this whole time? Trust me, the society that we live in today won't last, but the new generation can change the future. So please, join me. <gasps> we both know that this is what you need. Use this dark core to show those crooked adults your sense of justice. We can be friends if you accept, and together, we'll save the world. Together? To save the world? That's why you left the buddy police? You think that joining disaster is the answer? And tell me, just what are you planning to do with that Dark Core deck case anyway? He'll use it to increase our numbers and help recreate the world. That's enough talk for now. You have a decision to make. Will you accept this Dark Core or won't you? Tell me now. I don't know, I... <clears throat> Stay true to yourself, Gao. Uh, it's who you are. Yeah. We have no choice but to respect your decision. But first, I'll need to erase your memory of this conversation. No, don't! Dragonic, shoot! Nice try, Prepping Guard! Leave him alone! Grim Reaper. Kiri? Is that the disaster force? Not quite, but be prepared for anything. Why do this? Jackknife Dragon! <laughs> Jack! Kiri, do you want to tell us what's going on? I can't really explain it. Even though I gave up the Dark Core, I can still make the power of the cards real. Now listen, Tosuku, I know it won't mean much coming from me, but Jack has something he needs to say to you. Don't bother. I know what he's gonna say already. Please don't. Tosuku, you said a bond like ours was unbreakable. It is! You'll always be the most important thing in my life. Then why do you go off and become buddies with that whack job Demio sword guy? Is that how you treat people in your family? I guess us dragons have a different sense of loyalty. Hmm. It's not true. Not at all. Life's great when I'm with you. You make me feel like I belong, but that's not a luxury I can afford. Not if I want to do my duty. I'm the one who has to protect people. So in order to bring happiness to others, I have to put aside my own happiness. Ugh, that Dark Horror is rotting your brain! The truth is, as long as I'm protected by you, I can't become stronger. I hope you understand. Even though you're my best friend, you're my greatest weakness. What are you saying? This is the new card that I've picked out for you. What do you think? Demio Sword Dragon. He's unique in that he can gain strength simply by destroying one of his comrades in the field. Gaining strength by destroying an ally? I've done it before. No, wait! If you use that card, you know what'll happen! I'm sorry. Forgive me. Tazuku! A human and a dragon unite! Behold, Jackknife Gold Ritter! If I must. I'll discard the one thing I cherish most. I know now it's the only way. Congratulations. That wasn't so hard, and as your reward, you get to be my friend. No thanks. I don't want any friends or family. I want to be all on my own. I've made up my mind. Now get out of here, or else!
Gao, get up. <gasps> Hope you had a nice nap there, kid. Cause we got a lot of work to do. Drum's right. I'll tell you what I just told him. There's a reason that Noboru, Jin, and Kazane teamed up for this Gaian Cup tournament. They're working together to reveal the full extent of Disaster's powers and influence, and to learn as much as they can about Disaster's plans. I suppose you could say that they're undercover. But why are they doing it? It's all for you. You sure about that? You've only got two cards left in your hand, but I know there's an ace up your sleeve, so let's see it already. I cast Mord Aura Meditation, final phase! He increased his gauge so that he could use his impact. I change Demon Slay's vow into a blade and release it now. I cast Ultimate Battle Skill, Mega Demon Slay! <laughs> no! Oh no, Jin! Game over. Winner, Nohuga Aragami. An impact that uses four gauge to cause four damage to an opponent? Even I wasn't expecting a move like that. Roga ends the game with an impressive impact! Which means Team Purgatory sweeps the best out of three match, making them the first team to move on to the finals! Booyah! Everything is going according to Master Kyoya's plan. Thanks for the show, Roga. Your skills are impressive. I just hope Gao was watching for his sake. Well played, Jin. I wish you better luck next time. But you know I have to do what's necessary to win the Gaim Cup. Because I made a sworn promise to a friend. Everyone on Team Destiny has fought against you, Gao, and it's made them realize what's important to them. You shone with the warmth of the sun on their hearts. That's why they're doing this why they've chosen to help you. I really need a favor. Anything for you. Hear me out. I want to get my family back. And I'll need to fight alongside you to do it. Are you saying that you actually want to become part of my deck? I am. Awesome! We're lucky to have you, my friend! You won't regret this, I promise. <sighs> it's time for... Tsuko and Gao's... Card of the Day! Today we're gonna tell you about Treachery Jockey Karasu, a new fighting force for the Skull Warrior. With 4,000 power, a critical of two, and the move ability, this card's best for equipping an item or fighting back. Because it's size one, you can revive it with Return to the Underworld. Every Skull Warrior's deck can use one. No matter how many times you defeat it, it keeps coming back. So what do you think, guys? You think you can open up one of these? You'll, You'll never, never know, know until, until you try! try. Now that Purgatory Knight's identity's been revealed, Gao, Zanya, and Baku find themselves at odds with each other. So Tetsuya saves the day. 
Next episode, Baldasole collapses. Join us for a buddy fight. <laughs>